Hi, my dear students. This is Sarita Umesh. If you haven't subscribed my channel, Fun Chemistry, kindly subscribe it. Today, we are going to study a very small topic, but very, very important for your board exam. That is, how do metals and non-metals react? You know, this is a small topic, very small topic from your third chapter. That is, metals and non-metals. Shall we start? So, this is our topic, how do metals and non-metals react? Before studying this particular topic, you are supposed to know certain terms. First one is ions. Second one is different type of types of ions, that is cations and anions. Apart from this, I think these two are new terms for you. One is electropositive character and electronegative character. What are atoms? You know, atoms are the fundamental unit of matter. But inside the atoms, there are some charged particles present. You know that. Three of them. It's very familiar for you. Protons, neutrons and electrons. And you studied electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a definite circular path called orbits in class 9. And inside the nucleus, nucleons are present. What are the nucleons? The nucleons are protons and neutrons. In these three particles, electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral. Neutrons are neutral, no charge. But all of them have definite amount of energy with them. They all are energized particles. Now, we come back to the first term, ions. The question is, how are these ions formed? These ions are actually formed from atoms only. When an atom lose or gain electrons, they form ions. So there are two types of ions. One is called cation. The other one is called anion. When an atom lose electron, when an atom lose electron, it forms positively charged cations. If an atom accepts an electron, the number of electrons in that particular atom increases. So, number of protons are remain same. So, the atom is getting negative charge. That time, anions are formed. Now, what is electropositive character? That is tendency of an element to lose electron and become a positively charged ion. That tendency is called electropositive character or electropositive nature. Then what will be the electronegative character? The counterpart. What is that? The tendency of an atom to gain electrons and become negatively charged ions called anions. That tendency is called electronegative character. So you understood that some of the elements have the tendency to lose electron, some have the tendency to gain electron. Understand one thing, all metals are electropositive. What is the meaning of that? All metals are electropositive. Because metals have the tendency or all metals have the tendency to lose electron and become positively charged ion. You have studied an example. Sodium. Na. Atomic number 11. You know the electronic configuration. 2 comma 8 comma 1. All atoms will try to complete the octet. You know that octet means outermost shell should contain only 8 electrons. So in the case of sodium, 
losing this one electron and making this shell with eight electron is easy so sodium always lose one electron and become na plus and one electron is lost now the question why sodium is getting positive charge you know that in an atom for example sodium itself we can take atomic number is 11 what is the meaning of atomic number either the number of protons or the number of electrons so number of protons is 11 number of electron is also 11 now you see to attain stability sodium is losing its one electron sodium is losing its one electron so now here the number of electrons become 10 and number of protons become 11 so the positive charge here this is negative charge you see 10 negative and 11 positive whose character will be predominating the positive character that's why sodium is getting a positive charge after losing the electron now we will take another atom chlorine atomic number 17 so it is 2 comma 8 comma 7 what will be this atom's tendency to complete the octet losing seven electron or accepting one electron which is easy accepting one electron is easy so chlorine will take one electron and it become cl minus you understood why cl become cl minus after accepting this electron how because you know chlorine atomic number is 17 meaning 17 electrons or 17 protons 17 electrons and 17 protons now it accepted one electron that means it become 18 electron but 17 protons so 17 positive charge and 18 negative charge whose character will be predominating here this negative character will be predominating that is why chlorine is getting negative charge after accepting this electron hope you understood this much now you see sodium become sodium plus na plus and chlorine become cl minus so you can see here a cation is formed and an anion is formed now whenever we ask the difference between cations and anions always children will make mistake they will write the reverse so i'll teach you an easy method to remember cations are positive see when we write cations you always write like this cations see cations positive cations so cations are positive definitely anion should be negatively charged right so cations now you see here this sodium ion reacts with this chlorine ion because both are oppositely charged particles you know you have studied in lower classes oppositely charged particles attract each other so they form NaCl in solid form that is our common salt so NaCl is an ionic compound why we call NaCl is an ionic compound because in NaCl the constituent particles are sodium ions and chloride ions now we will see how we can draw the Lewis structure of this particular formation so you can see here sodium it has only one electron in its outermost shell so I'm drawing only that electron so sodium with one electron so in Lewis dot structure or Lewis structure we will write the symbol of the element and the outermost electron we will not show all the 11 electrons present in sodium we will show only the outermost shell electron that is called valence electron now you take chlorine chlorine you know atomic number is 17 2 comma 8 comma 7 so chlorine has seven electrons in its outermost shell don't think that sodium's electrons are like a dot and chlorine's electrons are like a cross there is no difference between electrons of sodium or electrons of chlorine 
just to understand we are just giving two different symbols one is a dot the other one is a cross that's it now what is going to happen this sodium is going to lose its one electron and that will be taken by this chlorine because chlorine now you see only seven electrons are there in the outermost shell so it will form sodium will form a positive charge and chlorine will form a negatively charged ion so now the very very important ionic compound NaCl is formed hope this is clear to you hope you all understood how sodium chloride is formed so sodium chloride is a ionic compound in which the constituent particles are sodium ion and chloride ion so sodium is a metal chlorine is a non-metal metals are electropositive non-metals are electronegative you understood what is electropositivity what is electronegative character etc so sodium chloride is the simplest example for a ionic compound and you learn that so the conclusion is when metals react with the non-metals they form always ionic compounds